Now these are angles that add up to what? They add up to 180 degrees. So if complementary add up to 90, supplementary add up to 180 degrees. Now to do that, there are two special things I want to bring to your attention. The first one is a straight line. If I give you a straight line A, B, and I say that is the center there, and I say what is the angle in a straight line? So if you start from here and you go to that, you start from A to B, there is a special angle here, and that particular angle always know that it's 180 degrees. This is the angle in a straight line. Are you with me? Now, having done that, let's say i've got my point c there and i divide let me remove this 180 for now and having removed the 180 just later we'll bring it back let's say i divide my line to have a point like that to say this is d Hello our most valid student, my name is Confident and welcome to our lesson. Today I'm focusing on space and shape and it is for grade 8 and 9s and the topic here is the geometry of straight lines. So as you are going to be doing your uh, later stage Euclidean geometry, it is very important for you to lay this foundation on the geometry of straight lines and this topic in a way is um i'll say a very very important topic if ever you are not to struggle in future when it comes to geometry now remember if you grade 8 grade 9 you're coming in contact for the first time with this uh, 24 minute lesson i want you to go and subscribe subscribe right now and ensure that the notification bell on that youtube is turned on so that you can be notified every time there are new videos now, look at this. When we are talking about um, geometry of straight lines, there is a few basics or some foundation that you need to know. And I'm just going to go through these basics. The first and foremost, just to begin the lesson with, let us look at a few words here that are very important. The first word is what does the word adjacent mean? That's the first part. We're going to look what does the word complementary mean? We are also going to look at what does the word supplementary mean. So these are common words that I want you uh, to get comfortable using so that next time you come across it, you will be able to easily uh, understand. So let's start with the word adjacent. So if we're saying these are adjacent angles, to be specific, what is an adjacent angle? For you to demonstrate that, let me come up, for example, with um, some lines here. Say I've got uh, a line. Uh, let me use a different pen. Let's, let's say I've got a line like that. And I'm going to call that line um, A and B. And then let's say I've got another line coming like this. And that line is going to be C. So this is A, B, C. So when you talk about adjacent angles, now before we do that, if I want to write that angle B, there are two ways of writing this particular angle. See that angle formed by these two lines, A, B, and B, C. Now the angle formed, you can write it like this, put that on top, kind of a cap. That is, it means angle B. Or you can write it as A, B, C, and then you put that cap. So it means you start from A, you go to B, and you go to C in that order. Then at B, by that cap, you are indicating that the angle is found at B. 
Are you with me? So that is how you label angles. So now if we're talking about adjacent angles, it is common when or it is possible when I bring a third line, for example, let's call this line D. Now we call D, we'll call it a common line. We'll use the word common. Now the question is, why is D common? D is common in the sense that, look at the angles formed by D now, it has divided angle B into this part as well as that part. You see that? So now let's call maybe this one says this is one and that is two. So you have got now two angles. Now when we say adjacent, we are saying the angles are starting from a same point, you see B, and then they have a, they have a common line which is D, and the two angles that are formed there, we say these angles are adjacent. So in other ways, if I want to label only that angle with one, we can label it as angle B1. See that? So that angle B1 is same as saying A, B, and D. Now look at the difference now. B1 is same as A, B, D. What about B2? Now B2 is the same to say you start from D, you move to the common point B, put a cap, and then you go to uh, C. That is now B2. So there are different ways you want to label it. Now, one thing though I wanted to say is the adjacent angles, B1 and B2 are adjacent. These angles, we say that they are adjacent. Why? They are separated by the common line BD, and then the angles are formed from that common line. So that's the first part. The second part that I want you to be aware of is this word complementary. What does that word mean? So let's remove this and uh, look at this other word, which is complementary. What, what do you think the word means when they're talking about uh, complementary? The word complementary in this case, it means um, these are angles that add up. so they add up to what 90 degrees so if I say complementary angles you must actually see the 90 degrees there how do I demonstrate a complementary angle it's also not difficult let me just erase it just to show you if ever you want to show that this angle is complementary you will have a line and in that line you will have another line like that so let's say this line is A, and then we've got B, and then we have C. If that particular angle there, and then I have got my division line, we remember the adjacent line, let me make it uh, with a different color. Right. So now we call it D. So if I've got that point 1 and that point 2, so meaning if I take the angle B, 1 plus B2. Now, it is the whole angle that is formed. If it is equal to 90 degrees, it means B1 and B2 are called supplementary angles. They add up to 90 degrees. So it doesn't matter how you divide. You can come up with another line. For example, I can come with an extra line like that, further dividing that so that I can have here as 2 and then I can have this point now as 3 meaning I will say B1 plus B2 it doesn't end there now and then say plus B3 but at the end of the day they must give me what 90 degrees it means B1 B2 and B3 are complementary angles but now coming to that let's go back to the beginning line here that I formed because there is something special with this line. Now, I just want to show you. I'm just undoing. There it is. Now, whenever you have got A, B, C, and then we say this angle, if it is 90 degrees, it has got a special name given to it. We call it a right angle. And to do that, you make a, a sign like that to show that this is a right angle. And right angle, automatically, you mean it is equal to 90 degrees now there is something special 
about these two lines where they are meeting there at B, that point. We say that they are perpendicular to each other, meaning A, B is perpendicular, that's the sign you use, is perpendicular to the line what? To the line B, C. So if you say it's perpendicular, you can see that 90 degrees, meaning A, B and B, C are meeting each other at what? At 90 degrees. It's a special angle and we call it a right angle. So for complementary angles, it leads up to 90 degrees and a 90 degree is a right angle. All right. Last but not least, let's look at what is called supplementary angles. What do you think we mean by supplementary angles? Now, these are angles that add up to what? They add up to 180 degrees. So if complementary add up to 90, supplementary add up to 180 degrees. Now, to do that, there are two special things I want to bring to your attention. The first one is a straight line. If I give you a straight line A, B, and I say that is the center there, and I say what is the angle in a straight line? So if you start from here and you go to that, you start from A to B, there is a special angle here, and that particular angle always know that it's 180 degrees. This is the angle in a straight line. Are you with me? Now, having done that, let's say i've got my point c there and i divide let me remove this 180 for now and having removed the 180 just later we'll bring it back let's say i divide my line to have a point like that to say this is d now i've divided this straight line into two parts the first one is that angle and the second one is that angle. Do you see what I've done? So I've divided into two angles. And let me take this one out of the picture. So I've divided it into two angles. That angle and that. So let's call this one 1 and the call other one 2. As I said, there are two ways of writing it. You can call it C1, meaning angle C1. But angle C1, how do you form it? You start from A. You go to C and you go to D, but in C, that's where you put that. And then what about angle C2? Angle C2, you start from what? You start from D, you see that? Go to C and then go to B. So that's how you're going to label it. So it's going to be equal to D, C, and B. But where is the angle? It is at C. So this is uh, two ways that you can use to label these angles. Now, when we look at now at C1, take angle C1, which is that one, plus angle C2, which is that one. When you add them, remember, they form this straight 180. So this is equal to 180 degrees. But what do we say? We say C1 and C2, they are supplementary, meaning when I add them together, they give me 180 degrees it again doesn't matter how many times you divide the line as long as it is a straight line like that any straight line and if i've got a point here say that is my point and i get a line that is going this direction I get another line that is going that direction and I get another line that is going this direction. Now, if I've got this being my um, A and B and then I've got here C, D and E. Now, look at this. The angle I'm going to form here and the angle I'm going to form here and the angle I'm going to form here and the angle I'm going to form here. Now, pay attention. Here, if this point is point D, I'll call this D1, D2, D3, and D4. I've just shown you to say, instead of saying D1, you can say A, D, C. Let me just show you this. If you say A, D, C, you'll form D1. You know? So, But now I'm going to write in terms of D1. So if I say angle D1, angle, D1 plus angle D2 
plus angle D3 plus angle D4. Look, you add all the angles. At the end of the day, what are you trying to do? You are trying to start from this point. You go all the way to the other point, which makes a straight line. The key is it must be a straight line. You must be told A, B is a what? It is a straight line. They need to tell you that. If they don't tell you, don't assume. It must be a straight line. So now, such that if you say D1 plus D2 plus D3 plus D4, do you see that now we are forming a straight line? Now it gives us supplementary angles and we say they add up to what? 180 degrees. Are you seeing what I'm, 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 I'm working on? So these are some of the things that I want to bring to your attention as you are going through your grade um, 9 revision and these properties are very 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 important okay now the next one that i want to bring to your attention is just to wrap it up continuing again here we can look at for example let me look at my line uh say i have a point here this is a point and in that point let's say i've got a line like that just random lines see that so let's call that my a my b my c my d and my e and then let's call the center point uh we will call that center point what this is point x let me use a different one let's call that point it was point x now something interesting about these points look at this if i can mark that angle and mark this angle and mark this angle and mark that angle and mark that angle remember the center is x so i'll call this one two three four and five look at this now these are called angles at a point because if you look at one two three four five they form a point and they form a what a complete cycle a cycle let's start from one you go all the way up to five do you see that is a complete cycle so meaning what if you take angle x1 plus angle x2 plus angle x3 plus angle x4 and plus angle x5 very special property what do we call these angles we are saying these are angles at a point and they've got a special angle which is 360 degrees this is a full cycle or we call it a complete revolution when you turn from this point you move around and return to the same point we say you have uh, completed 360 degrees are you getting that those are angles at a point just remember that and angles at a point what do they add up to they add up to 180 degrees so those are the properties that are very very important for you to know last but not least let's look at the property which i think also is important for you to understand and let's say i come up with a line here so i come up with a line like that see that and then i come i come up with another line um like this bring so those are two lines the first line is a and b the second line is c and d look at these two lines now when you've got these two lines and let's say that point that they are meeting is point e so i've got let's say one two three and four now pay attention again what does or what does this mean in terms of this point where the, there is a crossing of these lines? Let's say I've got that angle and I've got that angle and I've got this angle and I've got that angle. Now, something is very special between 1 and 3. So let's call it angle E1 and also let's call it angle E3. Look at E1 and E3. We call them vertically 
they are called vertically opposite angles okay those are called what vertically opposite angles and you must know vertically opposite angles they are equal meaning e1 is equal to e3 there is another set of vertically opposite angles i don't know whether i can see it yes it is this one this one and that see these two so meaning if i can say e2 is equal to e4 which is correct why because they are also vertically opposite angles so it doesn't matter how you approach them if i just draw in this scenario just lines like this any lines just draw draw a line draw a line the moment there are two lines that angle is equal to that angle and this angle is equal to that angle provided a b and b i mean c d are straight lines don't be tempted it mustn't be like this it mustn't be that and that and that and that it mustn't look like you can see that this is not a straight line look at this this is not a straight line even this is not a straight line they need to tell you a b is a straight line and c d is a straight line so as i say this is the foundation just for 24 minutes just to learn the foundation of these and we're also going to be going into the next lesson which i'll encourage you to watch watch the next lesson that's why i say subscribe to the channel so that i will be teaching you from now henceforth going to your exams how to prepare for your final exams after teaching i'll bring you in some questions that you can use to get a good revision and trust me that exam is not going to be a problem we've come to the end of our lesson join me in the next lesson where i'm going to tell you about those angles they call them f angles they call them z angles and they call them u angles so you need to join me in the next lesson they are very important for your syllabus thank you